Okay, today I want to talk to you about with chronic pain patients, you have what we call a layering of pain. And what that generally means is a chronic pain patient starts off with one problem, say it's chronic low back pain. But then because they shield, they guard, they're trying to protect themselves, they're, they're assuming unnatural postures because of pain. What generally happens after that, especially when it's prolonged, is you develop a secondary, a third source of pain. For chronic low back pain, it is very common to develop what they call sciatic or radiating sciatic pain. Pain starts moving down your leg because you've changed your posturing because your back was hurting. Do that long enough, your secondary source of sciatica, now you're putting additional pressure on your knee. So what happens? You develop knee pain. So from what started off as chronic low back pain, you have radiating sciatic and now you have knee pain you, and you can progress it down. And it's because people are hurting, they're trying to get in positions that don't hurt them. But over a prolonged time, that becomes worse. What I want to explain today is how we go at the chronic pain patients' pain problems. And it is a layered problem. We don't come in all of a sudden, take say an infrax unit and turn it on and all of the pains, primary, secondary, and, and uh, I think tertiary is the right word, third, third area, evaporates. That generally doesn't happen. The easiest thing to do is first you go at the pains that are easiest to rid of. One of those would be like in a chronic low back with a radiating sciatica. The easiest thing to do is attack the sciatic pain. So we would put electrodes on if we were using an interferential TENS unit and we would treat. Now, before we put it on, the pain patient knows, let's say that they get a lot of benefit from a cold pack. Cold helps. We might apply a cold pack to that secondary source. We might even apply a hot pack, moist hot pack, and then put electrodes on, put this on it because we know heat helps. It could be heat, it could be cold. You don't tell the patient what helps them. They can tell you what helps them, be it heat or be it moist heat or be it cold. So we start off and we do the stimulation, especially if it's interferential because you only have to do like a 20, 40 minute stimulation, that's it. But you may have the hot pack on. As Soon as you finish the stimulation, the hot pack stays on. The reason for that is the heat gives some residual pain relief. But what we're doing is we're attacking the secondary, a second layer of pain. Now, once we finish that, we may want to prolong it. We may want to use something like this is Sombra. This right here is Arnica, which is a, this is a homeopathic uh, patch that they wear. This is something they rub on. All of this stuff comes from chronic pain patients. We've used Tiger Balm. These are things that have worked for chronic pain patients. What we're trying to do, you also have here a magnetic uh, pack, the cold pack that goes on the patient. What we're trying to do is we're trying to modify the second or third layer of pain first because that's most beneficial. If we can rid them of that pain, then we come back to the primary cause, which was a chronic low back pain. We're attacking the layers and we're progressing through that. As we reduce that, what we're really doing is we're backing out of these layers. For the chronic pain patient, if we can get back to the primary cause, which could have been chronic low back pain, once we get there and we've rid them of the knee pain or the ankle pain or the foot pain or the radiating sciatica, we're progressing. Remember, for chronicity, for chronic pain, this had to start a long time ago. And chronicity is currently defined by Medicare here in the United States is of six months or longer duration. Now, historically, that time period was one year. So it's not like the pain popped up yesterday and now everything's okay. But that's what we do when we attack layering. If I happen to personally be talking to any of you on the phone, any of our pain patients or therapists or physicians, then that is what I'm referencing when I say, let's take the patient and let's go at the easiest thing first to rid them of the pain and we will work off of that. But I hope this gives you a better uh, explanation of what we're doing when we attack the problems of pain for the chronic pain patient. Thanks for watching.